Google just unleashed Firebase Studio, and it's like a playground for building AI-powered apps with zero coding knowledge. Before we dive in, let's set the stage. This tool is a game changer because it lets anyone from total newbies to creative hustlers turn wild ideas into real apps without touching a line of code. First things first, head over to studio.firebase.google.com. You'll need a Gmail account, so if you don't have one, grab one real quick, it's free. Click sign in in the top right, pop in your Gmail, and boom, you're in. When you land, you'll see this clean dashboard. It's like a blank canvas for your app ideas. Firebase Studio is powered by Gemini 2.5 Flash, Google's AI that's basically your co-founder, and it's hooked up to Firebase for hosting and storage. The dashboard is your command center. It's got a sleek layout with a sidebar on the left for projects, settings, and help. Stick with projects for now, but later you can poke around settings to tweak things like AI preferences or connect your Firebase account for extra juice. Since Firebase Studio's in preview, you might see a beta label, which just means it's still getting polished, but it's already loaded with power. You get three free workspaces to mess around with, no credit card needed, so you can build a few apps without hitting a wall. Step two, starting a new project. All right, let's create something. On the dashboard, you'll see a button that says new project. Click that. It'll ask for a project name. Let's call it Real Vibes because we're making a playlist app that vibes with your mood. Hit create and it'll spin up a workspace. This is where the magic happens. Your workspace is like a creative studio. It's got a preview window, an AI chat box we'll use a ton, and a hidden code editor you don't need to touch unless you're curious. Everything saves automatically, so if your browser dips or you shut your laptop, Real Vibes will be right there when you return. If you're stuck for ideas, Firebase Studio offers templates, think social media dashboards or event planners, but we're going custom for Real Vibes to make it uniquely yours. Firebase is quietly setting up a backend here, handling stuff like storing playlists or video files, which is key if your app gets popular. If the loading spinner hangs, don't sweat it. Just wait a sec or check your connection. You can also name multiple projects to stay organized, like Real Vibes Test for experiments, and switch between them in the sidebar. Step three, prototyping with AI. Now, here's where it gets wild. You'll see a chat-like box that says, prototype with AI. This is where you tell Gemini what app you want. Let's type this. Build me an app where users pick a mood like chill, hype, or nostalgic. And it creates a playlist with song suggestions, plus a short video intro that matches the vibe. Hit enter and watch it go. This AI box is your secret weapon. Gemini 2.5, Flash takes your prompt and builds a tailored app, pulling from a massive library of app patterns. It's like having a whole dev team on speed dial. You can get detailed, like add a repeat button, or make the video pop with sparkles, and it'll roll with it. For newbies, keep prompts simple but specific. The AI is smart enough to fill in gaps. If you're not sure what to say, try describing the app like you're telling a friend. It works. For real vibes, we're leaning on that video intro to set the mood, and Gemini is already thinking about how to make it smooth and lightweight so it loads fast. It's thinking, okay, here we go. It just spat out a plan. Look at this. It's suggesting a homepage with a mood picker, a playlist generator, and a video splash screen that plays a 10 second clip, like waves for chill or neon lights for hype. It's got a layout with a dark theme, swipeable song cards, and subtle animations. I didn't even ask for half this stuff. It's just smart. If you don't like something, you can tweak it later, but this looks dope already. This blueprint is like a sneak peek of your app's soul. It breaks down the layout, features, and even stuff like load times to keep things snappy. Click view details to see how the video renders or what's powering the song suggestions. Right now it's using dummy tracks like Chill Tune 1, you can export the blueprint as a PDF to share with a collaborator or keep as a roadmap. If the AI adds something odd, like a random weather widget, just type remove that in the chat box and it cleans up fast. Want to go deeper? Ask it to suggest premium features like a top moods leaderboard and it'll sketch out how that could work. Oh, and you can save multiple blueprints to compare ideas, like one with videos versus one with static images to pick what vibes best. 
Step four, customizing your app. All right, let's make it ours. Scroll down to the blueprint. It's like a sneak peek of your app. You'll see sections for features, design, and vibe. Under design, I'm gonna change the colors to a purple to blue gradient because that screams moody playlists. Click edit, type purple blue gradient, and hit save. It updates instantly, check that out. The design editor is super flexible. You can tweak fonts, button sizes, or slap on a logo if you've got one lying around. Not feeling artsy? Type, suggest a font for a music app in the AI box, and it'll throw out options like Roboto or Poppins that match your vibe. For real vibes, the gradient's perfect, but you could also add rounded corners for a softer feel or bold text for punch. Accessibility's a big deal too. Click Accessibility in the Design tab and enable High Contrast Mode to make sure everyone can use your app. You can preview how real vibes looks on mobile, tablet, or desktop to catch any weird overlaps, like if the mood picker squishes on small screens. Now, let's add a twist. I want users to save their playlists. In the AI box type, add a feature where users can save playlists to their profile. Hit enter and it's like, got you. It adds a My Vibes tab with a save button. This is nuts. You're literally telling the AI to code for you. Saving playlists means users need accounts, so let's set that up with Firebase authentication. It's a breeze. In the workspace, head to the Integrations tab and click Add Authentication. Pick Email Login to keep it simple. It creates a sign-up screen that matches your purple-blue theme. The My Vibes tab now links to user accounts, so playlists don't vanish when they close the app. Want to make it fancier? Add Google sign-in for one tap login, just toggle it in the same menu. This makes real vibes feel personal, like a Spotify you built yourself. Firebase secures it all, so no worries about hackers. Let's add one more feature, a share button. Type add a share button to send playlists via link in the AI box. It creates a button that spits out a unique URL, letting users text their hype playlist to friends. You can even add a like button to track popular moods. We'll hook that to analytics later. Step five, testing your app. Time to see it in action. Click preview at the top. It'll spin up a demo in your browser. Here's real vibes. There's the mood picker with chill, hype, nostalgic. I'll pick hype. Boom. It generates a playlist with some EDM bangers and a video intro with flashing lights. Yo, this is legit. Swipe through the songs, smooth as butter. The save button works too. It stores my playlist under my vibes. Testing's where you spot the quirks. So let's dig in. The preview window lets you switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile views. Check all three to see how real vibes flows. Desktop feels immersive. Mobile's tight, but clear. You can simulate a slow connection in the settings to test if the video loads okay on spotty Wi-Fi. It's solid so far. Try chill to make sure the wave video pops. It's perfect. To push it, use the debug tool to add fake playlists and see if my vibes handles the load. Want insights? Add Firebase Analytics now, go to Integrations, click Enable Analytics, and it'll track stuff like which moods get picked most. You'll get a dashboard later showing hype is trending, which is awesome for planning upgrades. It's free and sets up in a minute, giving you data to make real vibes stickier. Step six, troubleshooting issues. Okay, if something's off, like that laggy video, Firebase Studios got your back. In the workspace, there's a fix error button next to the preview. Click it and type, the video intro lags on mobile. It analyzes the code, don't worry, you don't need to see it, and suggests compressing the video file. Hit apply fix and it re-renders. Test again, boom, it's silky smooth now. The fix error tool is like having a tech guru on call. It digs into the issue and explains what's up, like video files too big. If it's confusing, type, Explain this fix simply in the AI box, and it breaks it down. Another common glitch, login issues. If the My Vibes tab acts weird, type fix login, not saving playlists. It might tweak the authentication setup, takes seconds. You can also check the logs tab in the workspace to see what's tripping, like if the share buttons link is funky. If the AI is stumped, hit the help section. 
It's got guides and a community forum. One trick, save your project before big fixes to avoid losing progress, even though autosaves got you most of the time. If you ever get a weird error about Gemini, it might ask for an API key. Just hop to aistudio.google.com, click Get API Key, copy the free one, and paste it in the Settings tab here. Takes 10 seconds. I didn't need it for this, but good to know. If you hit a wall, like the AI not understanding your prompt, rephrase it, like make the video faster on phones instead of videos slow. For bigger issues, like the app crashing, type, why is my app crashing? And include what you were doing, like I added 10 playlists. It'll diagnose it, maybe saying, too many requests, add a limit. You can set rate limits in the settings tab to keep things stable. Also, since Real Vibes uses Firebase storage for videos, check the storage tab to ensure you're not over the free one gigabyte limit. Unlikely, but worth a peek. If all else fails, restart the workspace. It's like rebooting your router. Step seven, hosting and sharing your app. Ready to show the world? Click publish at the top. It'll deploy your app to a Firebase subdomain like realvibes.firebaseapp.com. Takes a minute to go live, there it is. You can share this link with friends or generate a QR code for them to scan. I sent it to my group chat and they're already picking moods and vibing. You can also invite collaborators by clicking share and adding their emails. Great for team projects. Publishing is where Real Vibes shines. It's live on Firebase's servers, which are crazy reliable. The subdomain's free, but you can buy a custom one like realvibes.app in the domains tab if you're feeling fancy. Starts at a few bucks a year. The QR codes clutch for events. Imagine printing it on a flyer. For collabs, set permissions when you share, like view only for feedback or edit for teammates to tweak the app. Want to go viral? Add social sharing. Type add buttons to share on X or Instagram in the AI box. It'll create icons that post your playlist link with a custom message like vibing to hype on real vibes. You can also back up your app in the projects tab to save a snapshot before big changes. Look, Firebase Studio is free to start. You get three workspaces, no credit card needed. It's like having a dev team in your pocket. The Gemini 2.5 Flash AI is scary good, and Firebase hosting means your app's live with one click. I used to think app building was for coders only, but this? This is for dreamers like us. You could make a music app, a game, or something wild like a virtual pet with AI-generated tricks. The sky's the limit.